What's going on guys, it's Kude here, and today we're ready on Mortal Kombat trying to beat Tower 80 with just a gold team. It's pretty difficult, not gonna lie, unless you're gonna be using tower equipment. And a lot of people hate tower equipment because it is difficult for beginners to get. But what a lot of people don't realize is that without tower equipment, how the heck are you gonna get damage boosts? How are you gonna do the damage required to beat a boss battles in one attempt? No, not 50, one attempt, which is why this is so difficult. All right, so talents, as you can see here, this is what I applied. Um, I'm just gonna show you my presets. I'm not gonna explain each individual one, um, but I will say one thing, Lion's Dance, I should have went with that instead, but I'm not gonna fix that whole thing just for one. And then also Shinox Teaching, don't get that. Uh, but oops, hold on. There we go. Support. I also have Spec Ops ta Tactics. And then that is the um, last thing I applied when it comes to talents. Now, each character on my team has been crafted. I've lost a couple of battles on purpose because I've been trying to learn how I can get one attempt down with this gold team. Telegrikia, Resistance to Stun and Bleed. That's pretty nice. Uh, you also get 600% max health boost. And then also this gives you a bunch of um, damage and health boost, which is good for Johnny Cage, which needs it. Okay, and then uh, because she gives a 25% unblockable basic attack, we don't need a block breaker on Johnny Cage. I just realized um, Combat Cup Cancel Cage does not work against bosses, so it's not worth using her at all. Oh, here we go. 50% damage boost against enemies affected by stun. That is perfect for us because you know what Johnny Cage applies the most. Stun. Because he um, will stun the opponent who tries to tag out. That's genius. Then we have Bloodmaster's Bloody Finca for some extra damage for Cassie Gage Convert Ops. And then Cold War Sonya Blade has Bayonet just for some damage boosts. And then also Body of Steel. Also, we don't need a block breaker on her as well. What would work well for Cassie Cage? It's really difficult to find an attacking piece that works well for um, generally anything that's not a block breaker. Here we go. Basic attack damage boost and special attack 2 has reduced. So there we go. This should work well for us. We want to apply Cripple with Cassie on something like Cold War Scarlet. Uh, what you don't want is for them to ever get regen, which is why you need to Power Drain on Cold War Scarlet. You need to. If you don't Power Drain on Cold War Scarlet, it's done. The game's over. We're doing quite a bit of damage right now. Save. Save SP1. Save it. So that if any other opponent tags in, you can immediately power drain them because that will happen. See? But, oh, well, didn't work in time. If you're attacking while they transfer in, it's not going to be good. And you have to really watch out for Cold War Scarlet because she can get SP2 when she tags in and immediately she'll regen. It's really bad. Um, but we do a lot of damage with Combat Cup Johnny Cage. We need to get back to that special one as soon as possible. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. We need to immediately apply this so she can't use SP2. Perfect. That is perfect. If she doesn't get SP2, we have a chance of winning this first try. Because if she gets regen, that's game over. So don't even let her get anywhere near special 2. Um, perfect. We get a damage boost against characters who are stunned. We can kill her off, maybe. She has cold blood now. Okay. Hopefully, when she tags out, she dies again. Okay, we need to apply this right away. Don't let her use SP1. Just waste time. Okay. Perfect block breaker. Should be able to do quite a bit of damage. Not enough, though. Not enough to call it good yet. There we go. Perfect. We got it. Nope. That's not good. Okay. Well, we should be able to do quite a big damage with Cassie Cage here. Cripple her so she can't do anything. And tag in uh, Johnny Cage. And then boom, get the win. First try. I told you, Johnny Cage is an absolute 
mad lad if you just use the right equipments. Tower equipment is going to help you. This is all because damage boosts on characters with great combo enders will absolutely do wonders in this tower. I think maybe we could do uh, tower 100 in one attempt with this team alone. In fact, I'm going to save it now. What do you guys think? Do you think my talent preset was good? Um, this is taking me a lot of learning. And I know you can make fun of me, you know, <laughs> you can make fun of me for having to use tower equipment or whatever, but it takes a lot of learning and also trials. You don't just do the tower attempts in one try. The first team you select, I have gone through so many teams that just absolutely failed. And I'm not going to sit here and lie about it. Like I didn't just get this in one try on my, on my first uh, attempt to find the right team to use. It took me multiple teams and this one just ended up being the best one for me uh but you have to read these passives and you have to read the equipment and know what it's doing uh to help you remember when when you're fighting bosses dots are not going to help you whatsoever not at all dots are useless for you and that's why battles like regeneration and whatnot are okay when you um are not fighting bosses you can use dots poison uh princess guard stuff like that but that's not going to work if you're fighting bosses you just have to choose something that gives you high damage boosts and lets you finish the game as quickly as possible to try to get that attempt down to one but if you can't two attempts is okay if you have a max gold team now remember this is a fatal tower gold team you know here's the thing about about gold teams uh also you want to go for packs that have um a challenge character in them but also costs like 400 souls. Like, where, where is this? There we go. Gold challenge character, 90%. So 90% chance for a gold challenge character instead of having to spend 300 for just a confirmed challenge character. It's not worth it. But you do have a chance for Wrath Hammer. I didn't realize that, actually. Um, it's still probably not worth it, to be honest. Anyways, that's me for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And yeah, peace out.